What's the name of the podcast, Ethan? I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's a comedy. This is not going to be a podcast. This is going to be a fucking train wreck. I wouldn't say that. 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 Do you know what uh, Cream Fiend is? They sell uh, Nangs, nit- nitrous oxide canisters for making um, cakes. Cakes. Yeah, but yeah. they'll deliver them to you any time of day, night. Um, so, yeah, Cream Fiend. Well, welcome welcome to the podcast, Loz. This is How to Not Comedy. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. We just talk about how bad at comedy we are. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Just the fuck ups we've made, <laughs> what lessons we've learned. Yeah, so cool. far, yeah. Yeah, yeah, lots of stories on that, I guess. Yeah, yeah, we've all got a few. <laughs> There's usually one every week, if not us, someone, one of Somebody. our guests, maybe. Yeah, yeah, someone's always got a story. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, very good. So I'll I'll introduce the guest. How about that? Because yep. I'm fucking hopeless at this. I never do it. <laughs> um, so today we've got Loz Barton on, Arnie Loz. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, so. You started doing comedy around the same time as me, I reckon. Yeah, pretty much. It yeah, was yeah. August last year. Yeah. Yeah. So about a year. Yeah. Or a bit more yeah, than just a year. Over, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um doing radio now. That's yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah, a little bit of radio. It's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoying it? I'm loving it. Yeah. Yeah. Love uh yeah, because their music library is just phenomenal. And it's like I had all this thing I was going to do, all this sort, sort sort of music that I love, and then I saw their library and it was like, oh, fuck that. This is brilliant. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah. So I have I have been seeing your post on social media. The problem is I always go, oh, yeah, I've got to listen to that, and then I always get sidetracked with work or video games. <laughs> yeah. Oh, recently it's been video games. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad time of the day. Yeah. yeah the oh, mid-days. smack bang in the middle. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's it. Yeah. yeah, I had a listen. Nice. Definitely some, definitely some songs that I like on there. Definitely some songs that I fucking hate. Yeah, <laughs> and probably like... some that you don't even know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The golden oldies. Yeah. When it gets start gets back into like early sixties or anything like from yep. before that, I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. Really? I'm too yeah, young. fair enough. Too young for that oh, shit. I love all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, can't I'm get like into a big. It. I'm, I love blues and stuff like that. I'm so. a big blues fan. That's yeah. my favourite style of music. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that's all I play on guitar as well. It's just oh, like nice. Blues. I saw the drumsticks over there. You play drums too, do you? No, sort just of. annoys the fuck out of his wife. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, I just got the drum pad, just learning, um, like, just sort of how to use drumsticks almost. Yeah, so, yeah, right. Like, I can't, I can't play on a kit or anything like okay. that. So, okay. So, yeah. And like obviously, I got guitars and stuff. I can yeah. play the guitars a little bit better. Yeah, but... nice. I'm a drummer myself. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I've been playing since I was 17. Yeah, wow. Yeah, still yeah. not good. Yeah, anyway. well, <laughs> <laughs> you can you can hold a, you can hold a beat though. I can hold a beat. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that's pretty much all we'll say about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start a band, maybe. Mm. Did you just pick it up, obviously, in high school, sort of thing? It's a hobby or? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I sort of thought, oh, what's going to annoy my father the most, really? <laughs> That's a good <laughs> and, idea. Uh, yeah, and that was yeah. it. So yeah, yeah, okay. You still got a kid at home? I've had kids on and off. I don't have one at the moment. Yeah. To clear out space, so that went. Yeah. It's so yeah. bloody loud, too, when you're playing the drums. Like, yeah. Unless yeah. you've got an electric kit, you're going to yeah. annoy the fuck out of your neighbours, well, that's for sure. It, certainly, if you're not very good at it, you're going to annoy them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, that's like kind of why I set up this room because I was thinking about getting a drum kit as well. So ah, I yeah. like went out and I all but picked out a kit and was like planning on, I was like, you have to kind of do it right. You've got to actually learn how to tune the drums and all yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. So yeah, there's a guy in Newcastle, um, that runs out of Jack's mu- music store. Yep. And, yep. um, <clears throat> I was just going to get like a probably an hour session with him, like half an hour lesson where he can just teach me like a yeah. beat or whatever. Yeah, totally. And then like half an hour on how to set up the drum kit, yeah. how to retune it and all that. That's so. it. Once you've got a beat down, you can just go anywhere with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do whatever. It's super, like, it's, um, I feel like you can be a lot more creative off the bat with drums very much yeah that's it because there's no there's no real set style like you've got your set beats but but you can just do whatever and if it sounds good it sounds good yeah so yeah yeah and once you sort of like like once you sort of learn like 
good fillers as well. You can really start like just, um, yeah, just be more creative with it. Yeah. 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 So. That's where my problem is the fillers. Yeah. I, I can do a beat till the cows come home, but yeah, yeah don't that's, ask me to fill anything. Well, that's everyone. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's yeah. It. yeah. Yeah. That's um, the hardest part about being creative, coming up with shit on the spot. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. We've all got that creative bone, but uh, the improv stuff. <laughs> it's yeah. always fucking hard to do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, like that's that's how I've learned guitar though, is purely improv. For oh, the yeah. most part. So when I was learning guitar I learnt like all I did was focus on I think I learnt um Zombie by the Cranberries. That was the only song I ever learned. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Ethan was I, living I with live me. with him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all I was heard was Zombie funny. by the Cranberries about a thousand times yeah. a week. Yeah. It was rough. Uh, yeah. But it's not a, a bad song. song. Yeah, it's a it's a decent song, but holy shit. Oh, play the fuck out of it. Yeah. And that's all you do when you're first like learning something. Yeah. You're like you learn to play one thing and that's all you play. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But like I just learned like I learned chords. So and then it was just improvising with chords. Could have been mostly. worse. I lived in Sydney and there was a guy that had the bagpipes next door. Oh. And he just used to play that that same Scottish song. Oh, <laughs> like, no. Everyone knows the one. Oh, there is only <laughs> but, one Scottish song. Yeah, isn't yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. But he'd play it horrifically. Oh, <laughs> like, my God. It barely resembled it. You could tell what he was trying oh. to do, but it was just like, dude, just give up. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh. It Apparently, is. it's really hard to play the bagpipes, it's though. So huge. he was probably yeah. doing really well for where he was at. But I was yeah, just like, probably. Nah, this is fucking awful to listen yeah. to. My like... wife's been begging me to get a bagpipe. She's one of those people that you give her any instrument, and within half an hour, she's playing it. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah, like, yeah. no way. Nah, not bagpipes. No yeah. way. Maybe a violin. That's another one that like sounds horrific yes, to begin yes. with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was. I came so close to buying a violin too. You were going to play a violin? Yeah. Can you imagine me playing a violin? (laughs) I think you've got the chin for it. Yeah, I've got the chins for it. (laughs) I wouldn't need to hold the neck. I could just, yeah, whatever. Look, Ma, no hands. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. No, like, yeah. We've got a keyboard here. This is ah like, uh, yes. So my my wife was like, oh, I really want to learn the keyboard. So I was like, this is when my wife and I would we'd been going out for about a year and a half, maybe two years. I was like, yeah, I'll buy your keyboard. So I went out, bought her the keyboard. She played it like three times, lost the fucking power supply to it. So it's just sitting there gathering dust. That's exactly what like, our keyboard's doing. Yeah. And same story. Same yeah. story. Yeah. Yep. Lost lost the power supply to it, and that's it. And like. I've got like there's um there's a program that you can get on your iPad or your phone that's like really good for teaching instruments. Yeah, right. I can't right. remember it, but basically it like treats it like a video game. Oh, wow. So oh, okay. yeah, like um with that's guitar. Cool. Did you ever play Guitar Hero? Yeah, and I was you, bloody hopeless at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it yeah. it plays like Guitar Hero. Oh, really? So that's except cool. it's like yeah, real time and yeah, it right. tells you the strings. Ah. So yeah, same with keyboard. Yep. Like, and I was like, oh, fuck, I'll learn the keyboard. Yeah. I was like, where's this fucking power supply? Tanya was like, oh, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I made it feel real bad. For Isn't it just a like a 12 volt like, plug? No. It, no is a 12, it is a 12 volt power supply. Yes, you are correct. But like the. The actual plug for it's yeah, some actual, weird shape. Yeah, and yeah. I'm not spending like fucking $70 to get one. Because she's not going to play it anyway. Yeah, and I probably won't play it either. Well, that's it. You'll get the plug, you'll play it once, that'll be it. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, exactly. So. Chuck it out the front, mate, with all the other rubbish. Maybe I'll just fucking sell it online. 20 bucks. Like 20 bucks. Well, the stand as well. It's a good stand. Yeah, that's it. Well, I tell you what, if you sell it, I'll take the stand because we've got the keyboard no stand. Yeah, okay. (laughs) Right, I will talk after the show. Right, eh? Deals are on. Yep. Fuck yeah. Pud's getting a new video game this week. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, a little bit about um, me. I have, I've had an exciting week this week. I've just started a new job. Oh, so, have you? Yeah, I was working nice. on mine sites and stuff. I think you and I talked a bit about it. Yes, you, you used to drive right. trains yes. and yes. the mine sites. And... Oh, you're not doing that anymore? No, I quit 
a week ago. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Yep. Thank you. I feel sensational. Yep. Yeah, mm. I know the feeling yeah. when you quit a job like that. Oh, you're God, like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is that just yes. a necessary evil oh, at yep. the time? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now I can do comedy every night of the week if I want. Yes. Oh, <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, that's part of the reason why I took my new yeah. job. It was like, I need this work-life balance. I need yes. comedy because it's really fucking, like, kept me sane. Yeah. And to, to win is, like, so, like, yeah, almost saved my life. Like, just having something there that you yep. really really enjoy that's it yeah everyone's got to have a passion yeah exactly to... yeah so yeah i've just started a new job it's in an office like in the middle of honeysuckle Ooh. and i am not an office person no. whatsoever i would imagine not <clears throat> yeah like it's um it's just crazy like, although I'm... he spends most weekends in an office in a yeah, chair yeah <laughs> staring at a On computer the station. <laughs> but <laughs> he's an office person well, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. But um, like just the difference in you, you get to a site and like when I first started my um my job, it's no one's like happy to see you when you're a new guy on a mine site. It's like ah oh, fuck, this cunt doesn't know anything. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it's like you walk into an office as a new guy and everyone's like, hey, how you going? Like super like nice. And I'm just like, oh man. I'm not going to be able to bully anyone here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. There's no bullying whatsoever. No. Nah. Time oh. to turn over a new leaf, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not like a bully, but I like to have a joke at other people's expense as well as my own. So, yeah. yeah you got to watch it. You got to ride that politically correct oh, sort of 100%. train. Yeah, unfortunately, Just, yeah. that line is like space. less than a mil thick now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I'm I'm super self deprecating, so like I'm like, oh well I'm self deprecating. People can make fun of me all they want, I don't care. Yeah. Um and then when I try and like turn it back, sometimes it doesn't always go well. No, not everybody enjoys it. Yeah. yeah. It's the old yeah. condition out, can't take it back. Yeah, sometimes, Thanks. yeah. So people are making fun of you. Yeah. Yeah. So Pud's gotta put on his business hat. Yeah, otherwise someone's going to Karen in HR. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to find yourself another job. Yeah. Yeah, but like, yeah, it's it's been a really good week. It's been super interesting. It's a completely different line of work. I don't so what's s- the job? Um, this is the best part. So I don't know, can you get you going to talk about it? Yeah, fuck yeah, it. Right, let's fuck it. let's talk about but it. But he left his other job. We'll so, preface this by saying. Yeah, right. I left my other job. I um I I got depression. And yep. I, I was suicidal. I nearly killed myself and wow. I quit my job and I've had okay. the last three months off. Yep. So um, it was like a horrible time for me and I was doing comedy all through that yep. and it's been awesome, but oh man, Those didn't bombs. I have some fucking bombs. <laughs> like, yeah, right. When you're depressed, it's really hard to get up on stage and be like high energy. Yes. Yeah. So Fair I point. had some fucking horrid bombs. Um but yeah, so now I'm like a, um, like a return to work case manager. Oh, really? In mental health. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's so, fantastically ironic. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's super absolutely. Ironic. Yeah, couldn't return to work because he was mentally unstable. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell other people how to do yeah. it. Yeah, it's probably that's gonna be good fantastic. for you. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 So like, it's. I can be super empathetic to what people are going through. Definitely. So. And you can no learn answers, shit while you're on the job. But total empathy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> just like, don't do what I did. <laughs> yeah. Don't just like quit work. Do as I months. say, not as I do. <laughs> yeah. Or come and That's work it. here. It's yeah. working out for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it was like, it was a huge pay cut when I was telling people what I was on before. So like working out in the mines, it's like six figures. Yeah. It's like, my wage is like nearly halved now and everyone's like what the fuck i'm like ah nah yeah. trust me you know what my wage is if i'm dead <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's right yeah, yeah exactly yeah, there's a lot more things to life than money yeah that's exactly what i've yeah. learned so yeah it's been um it's been an interesting week but um yeah what about you so you've you've obviously yeah, you were talking um, about um, doing sign writing and stuff like yeah, that. Yes, so I've had a pretty writing. interesting week myself. I um, yeah, so I quit my job. It's obviously the week for it, yep. and um, yeah, so I used to drive trains. Lo- I love driving trains, but just 
can't stand the bullshit that goes with it, can't stand the, the shift work, so I just do too many other things, you know, the comedy and the radio, and I just want to, yeah, just go to bed at a normal time and get up when I want to. And Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, so, yeah, I used to be a sign writer. I've been sign writing for 32 years now, actually, and yeah. um, on and off. So I've gone back to that and loving it. And, uh, yeah, business is actually coming in left, right and centre. I can't stop it, which is great. Awesome. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I think when you um, – when we discussed it after one of the shows, yeah, I was like, that's – yeah, at, at the point where we are now – um, there's so much business, especially yeah. like, cause advertising, like advertising on its own yes. is just booming. Yeah, so absolutely. obviously people need signs. Yeah. Um, they want to put branding on vehicles, exactly. windows, everything. So yeah, totally. Yeah. Cause yeah. I, rem- I remember like hearing about sign writing apprenticeships and like thinking to the old timey days where it was like a big wooden panel and someone would have to like write the font by hand. Yep. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. It's obviously not the same. It's all digital now. and Yeah, yeah. although I am uh, an original yeah, okay. sign writer, so I, I still do brushwork. Yeah. yeah and nice. um, I kept that up through because I knew one day it would come back. Yeah. And it, yeah. it is, I think, the last it couple of years. Yeah. yeah. All those, you like, know? artsy sort of areas. Absolutely. Like, back at Islington, like, all your old cafes and yeah. stuff that are going for that vintage sort yeah, of look. They all definitely. want hand-painted. That, that's right. Yeah. And they'll pay a mint for it, which yeah. is good, because yeah. it's worth a mint. It is. <laughs> yeah. So, People yeah. don't understand that, like, yes, I'm only doing this one sign, but it took me 10 fucking years to learn how to paint this good. <laughs> that's right. And right by hand. You're paying yeah. for that. You're not paying for, like, exact- the one little bit. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, totally. It's that cl- calligraphy. Yeah. Like yes. Calligraphy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Freehand yeah. stuff. So, yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So. You ever do many, like, pubs and stuff like that, like signboards? Yeah, I'm actually yeah. just in the middle of doing some signboards for a pub in Sydney, which has right. just started a stand-up comedy night. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Thursday night. So, yeah, I'm going down on Thursday, actually. Yep. Uh, yeah, to give them their signs and stay for the comedy. Yeah. Awesome. So, awesome. yeah. yeah Is yeah. it, uh, like, booked gig? Um, I have to speak to the bloke. I haven't spoken to him yet. Um, right. It's only their second night running. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just um, it's just open mic as far as I know. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah. So, you're going to get up? Get yeah, on. definitely. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, oh, we've um, <clears throat> yeah, I I actually saw you did Gosford Sailing Club as well. Yes. How yeah. was that? That was a really good night, actually. Yeah, I've um, that's the second time I've done Gosford, and both great nights. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. The great crowd, and that's what makes a difference. They're great yeah. crowd. Yeah. 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 I'm just uh not good enough to ever do Gosford Sailing Club. <laughs> oh. I think that's what the problem is. <laughs> I'm too blue as well. There might be some Rubbish. issues with material yeah. <laughs> to begin with. Well, yeah, you didn't see, I don't know if you saw a couple of weeks ago, I started a joke about like a hypothetical situation <laughs> with my daughter. My hypothetical daughter. I don't have a daughter. Right, I didn't but, think uh, so. Yeah, no. Oh. No, it did not go down well at all. Uh. <laughs> People didn't like that one. I was like, I fucking I wonder why I ran off stage. You, <laughs> oh no! Okay. Like the sort of bomb where you're just like, oh, I even apologise. I was like, I'm sorry about that one. I'm off. See us. <laughs> this is why you should come to the writing groups or like pitch it out beforehand. Well, look, at least you know in comedy that you, straight away you get that feedback. You know, no, oh yeah, that didn't work. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. Oh, the bad thing about it was the week before it kind of went okay. Yep. Like I got some laughs, like. The shock laughs. It was like a real shocking joke. And then, yeah, the next week, everyone just like stared at me. I was like, ooh. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That was not good. Depends where you're going, who's in the crowd at the time too. Like there might have been some more fucked up people the week before and that's why it got more of a laugh. But Exactly. Most of the time, if if you get like, I don't know, you do it a few times and you're like, oh, this just ain't working. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Drop this one. (laughs) Yeah. I usually, I've got a rule, like, I'll try it, like, three times. Yeah. Like, three times, if it's not working, it's not working. I like, think that's fair. Yeah. yeah. Back to the drawing board. That's yeah. Three-strike rule. Goes yeah. for everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And writing comedy is, it's the hardest, so hard. Like, yeah. how many times have you written a joke going, oh, this sounds awesome, and then you just read it back to yourself? 
No. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I've done that a lot. And I've performed I've it the same them. night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what this book is. Yeah. yeah. I do the 24-hour period now. If I write a joke, uh, leave, it. leave it for 24 hours. If I still think it's funny after 24 hours, I might get up on stage and do it. But yeah. I've done yeah. that where I write something on the day. I'm like, that's hilarious. And get up. And like, oh, that's, that, nah, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that should yeah. have just been a thought. <laughs> high, high risk as well. Especially perform. I, I do it so much. I'll, I'll, I'll write stuff on the way um, and then perform it. And sometimes it, I think I've got like a, probably a, 50% success rate with the jokes that I've written on the way there. Yep. And, but it, you're just not confident about them. I think that's a big thing as well. Yeah, definitely. Like, it's that magic, it's that magic time when you've written a new joke where you're confident about it because it's worked previously and you're still excited about it. Yes. That's when you get like the biggest laughs and like, that's, that's when you're like, oh, this is an awesome joke. It's yeah. when, and we've, I think we've discussed it so much, but. You've got a new, you've got a joke that's not new anymore. It still works, but you're not as excited about it, yeah. so it doesn't work as well. No, it's, it, it's all. I mean, it's all in the delivery, isn't it? And how you're feeling in yourself. You know, if you don't believe in the joke, then it's just no one else is either. Yeah, yeah. 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 Been plenty of times I've gone up and I'm just feeling off that night, and I'm like, oh, I'm still fucking going up. And you get up there and you just low energy, just pitching the jokes out. They're not working. You're like, oh, this is going. This is going yeah. bad. <laughs> well, it's just because, I don't know, just feeling bad in yourself or you're just tired or just like had a shit day, something's happened. Yeah. Yeah. It comes through. Well, it certainly does. I that time I got up at uh, the Stag and Hunter and I'd been on dog watch and uh, hadn't been to sleep all that day and then came into comedy. I think I'd been awake for 26 hours. Yeah, that shift work. And it was like, oh, my God, what the hell am I doing? And yeah. And I, I just didn't have... Totally lost me train of thought. Nothing came out of the mouth and off the stage I went. Yeah. <laughs> but that was like, if if something like that happens, you just owned it. Like, yeah. You just like, you're like, hey, look, I've had a big day. Sorry. Yeah. And he owned it. And no one, like, there was no judgment either. Like, we were, no, it was such no, a good... No, there wasn't actually. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's one of the things. I think, like, something goes wrong and it hasn't gone to plan. If you just own it, it's like... Yeah. People totally. don't, yeah. No. no, no one judged you that. No, actually, I think like a lot of people were like, oh, you know what? That was that was the way to handle it. Mm-hmm. If if something like that happens, yeah, the way you handled it was yeah. the way to go. The worst about person it. in enough, that situation yeah. is yourself because mm-hmm. oh, you're beating yourself up. Absolutely, no one else is no. cares at all. But you're like, oh, yeah. I fucked that up. <laughs> you're always your own worst critic. Yeah. That's with everything, isn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. God, yeah. Yeah, moving forward, um, you written any jokes? So what we do on this podcast is, if you've written a new joke you haven't performed yet, yep, um, it doesn't have to be an actual joke. It can yep. just be a premise or whatever. It helps get ideas out there. It's like we treat this almost like a little mini writing session. Okay. So um, like I'll, I'll start first. I've obviously started a new job and I'm like, I'm trying to write a joke about um, like when bullying's necessary. Okay. Like no one should ever really be bullied because they're different. But if you're being fucking weird, you should probably be bullied a little. <laughs> like if you sneak, I second that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like if you're sneaking into the girls' bathrooms to watch them shit, <laughs> like <laughs> someone uh, should probably yeah. like bully you a little so you someone don't do that anymore. Slap you around yeah. a bit, yeah. really. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, and not in a good way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like so. that um, like that angle of like a true best friend will like tell you. You're being a fuckwit. Yeah. Whereas, like, just a regular friend will be like, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Sometimes it's necessary. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think that could work. Yeah. So that was that was one I sort of was playing around with this afternoon. Yeah. What about you, Ethan? I don't really have anything. I've been lazy as shit. Well, I haven't been lazy. I've been doing uni work the whole last week. Yeah. Just, like, essays and crap. Because it's coming up to that time. Um. Mm, what have I got? I think I told these on the podcast last week, so... This, nah. week, this week, you're the piece of shit. Yeah, this week, I'm the piece of shit. All <laughs> yeah. I've got is a story about my my dad, like, he was up visiting my sister, and he's, like, walking through our house in the dark last night, got up to take a piss, and he's, like, 
Uh, he's like 60 now, about 60, nearly about 61. But anyway, so he's getting on. Eyesight's probably not all there. <laughs> Dark middle of the night. Gets up, runs into this chair, and it's like this big old like vintage chair. Yeah. Runs into it dick first. <laughs> and fucking... What do you have a heart on? He was just walking and just caught him like <laughs> just on the corner of it. And he's just flipped over the chair and landed and it's like nutted him at the same time. So he's he's just oh, he's just in so much pain. He's just like, oh, this is just the worst thing ever. So he's just in the wars. And then he got up this morning. He's like, yeah, my dick was all bruised. <laughs> it's black and blue. Now the reason I'm glad I'm a female. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's not going to go well on stage, though, if I yeah. tell that story, because it's like it's funny in the moment. You tell it to your friends, but it never works when you take it on stage. It doesn't have the punchline. But line. you've got it over him for the rest of his life. Yeah, yeah. My, <laughs> my funny, dad's yeah. got heaps of stories like that, like waking up. Because he, he, like, he'd been drunk. He'd yeah. wake up in the middle of the night being drunk, not know where he is, and like my mum will find him trying to take a piss in a wardrobe or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you oh. doing? He's standing in the corner of the room like what? <laughs> Who put all these coats in the bathroom? Yeah. You asshole. She just needs to keep putting plants everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh fucking what a yeah. mess. Yeah, so have you written anything new, Loz? Um look No. No. <laughs> well, yes, actually. The when I did uh Gosford the other week that was all new. Oh, that was yeah. the one you recorded um, and put up? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I watched so that. That, that was, cool. was new. Yeah. Um, so that will be expanding a bit now that I've done it the once. I realise that oh yeah, there's a bit more to it. Yeah. And um, and I can go a few different places with that. Um, I mean I've yeah, I got a ton in in the pipeline. I just haven't, you know, flushed them out. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's it. Well, yeah. you've been so busy lately as well. Like, that's oh, a big that's thing. It, yeah. You can't like. Do you um do you record all your sets that you do mostly? Or? Um yeah, mostly if it's something new, I'll record it. Yeah yeah. yeah. That yeah. way, like you said, you can figure out more of yeah. what, where, yeah. where you can go with it, like yeah, different de- angles yeah, and stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And it uh, just lets me know, sort of, you know, if I'm looking like a dick on stage too. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> For me, that's every time. <laughs> <laughs> like, who the fuck is this idiot? <laughs> oh, it's me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the best thing you can do. We've got a G drive with all of our stuff. And we've got a Patreon. You can actually like invest in our Patreon and see all of our shitty sets as well. Ah, uh, nice. It's like, yeah. So if people are interested in, like, they're not good either. I, <laughs> you terrible. shouldn't. You shouldn't be paying for them, honestly. Yep. Like, well, they shouldn't uh, be out there. That's why you have to pay yeah. for them. That's why yeah. they're behind the paywall because no one should ever watch them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This which, is a good which ad. Naturally entices people to want to watch them. So yeah, it's yeah. brilliant. Yeah, it's, oh, it's look, genius. you yeah. want to watch them like <laughs> if you like like cringe comedy, like oh, like that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. we watch should put them. it out there on those sort of channels on the internet. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, I reckon definitely. we'll get some hits. I don't think I could handle it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 bullying. <laughs> just don't read the way. comments, man. Yeah, don't no. worry about it. Just just collect the check. I feel <laughs> like you should just like you should read comments. Yeah, <laughs> nah. you, you can't nah. help yourself either. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably yeah get drunk and then start messaging people directly. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's never gonna yeah, end. Nah, well. nah. Yeah, yeah. So you, just doing it you've, shit you've got the radio show, like it's got its own social media. Do you get any of that sort of stuff? Um, yeah, it's sort of bits and pieces. Like the radio show that I'm doing is it's a much older audience. I mean, there's a couple of us now that are, we're trying to bring that audience down more to our age. But um, but look, it's it's lovely too because you know you get the older people ringing in and requesting a song, and they'll have a chat with you, and yeah. it's it's yeah, you know, that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, they don't do a lot of social media, really. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. probably good. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy we don't get comments on any of our stuff. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dude. Like, we've, we've, we've gotten feedback, like yep. personal messages and stuff like that, but we don't get comments on any of our YouTube or anything like that. Okay. Which I think is great. <laughs> That's I just because no well. one's listening to it. <laughs> yeah, like, we're probably getting... I think... Um, the, the Spotify at the moment, we're probably only getting about 40, 40 viewers at the moment. But, like, oh, that's, that's consistent. That's not bad. That's, yeah. that's probably consistent. So it's also, like, I think just reach. 
people just don't know about us. Yes. So yeah, yep. um, like we've gotten um, we've gotten some people on in the past, like or we've tried to get like bigger names. Um, Nick Kappa was supposed to do our podcast as well, but oh, okay. we just couldn't get the time frames yeah, to yeah. line up, yep. which is a pity. Um, but yeah, like all the um, detour guys came on and did it. Nice. So, yeah, um, fantastic. We have to go back and edit some, <laughs> <laughs> some of it, <laughs> take some names out. <laughs> so enough. yeah, yeah, we've got like a, we, we try not to use names on the podcast, but yeah. when you get carried away and you're just making jokes, sometimes Absolutely. names come out. And My bad. Smack the table. You probably heard that. Oh, yeah. you would too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, that's could another have been thing. Worse could have been with your penis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Could be hobbling around like the old boy. Yeah, you you have listened to this what show. What the hell I'm doing in this room? <laughs> <laughs> you should listen to some of our early episodes. That don't is not out of the don't realm. Don't listen to those. <laughs> <laughs> it is not out of the realm for something like okay. that to happen. <laughs> I'm glad I'm later down the track. Shaz, yeah, yeah. Shaz and Ethan are fucking menaces. <laughs> we are. Yeah. <laughs> um, Speaking of that, you've been a bit of a menace the last couple of nights. Been on the wacky, wacky tobacco. Yeah, I don't get drug tested anymore. So uh, like, yeah, fuck look, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit the same. I, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, uh, my partner has a little chuff pretty much every evening and I'm thinking... Uh, I might uh, give that a bit of a go now myself. Yeah, yeah, it's been good. I haven't like gone crazy with it and just greened out yet. It's just been like a good yeah. mellow. Yeah, like, just enough. Because <laughs> you've seen what I've done with uh, my life. So yeah, you're like yeah, no, I'm not going to go down that road. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> way too uh, much. Look, I just go to sleep on it anyway. Yeah, yeah. okay, I'm, yeah. Uh, I, you said um, the other day about you, uh, you tried the uh, MDMA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, I'm going to do that for my fiftieth, which is coming yeah, okay. up in a couple of months. I've oh, decided nice. to, yeah, drop one on my fiftieth, and yeah. uh, so I don't have to drink and just wake up with a shit hangover, and yeah, yeah, and so yeah. I can hopefully really enjoy the night. Oh, you yeah. will, so, yeah, you definitely oh, good. will. Good, good. <laughs> it's fun. I'm a bit excited. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. Yeah. It yeah. is fun. It's definitely something you just do with friends, like yep, while well, you're having a good time. Don't go to a festival, not drink all day, and yeah, then do yeah. It. yeah, like, yeah. You can drink like a fish on the stuff too, so I'd recommend yeah. not doing that. <laughs> yeah, okay, because yeah. that'll catch up with you, will it? Oh, the next morning, yeah, 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 yeah. the worst hangover. Oh, yeah. okay, because well, that's what I want to avoid. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you just do that and just drink water and have a good time, you'll, yeah. have, you'll have a great time. Sweet. It's just I'm just excessive about shit, so ah, I'm like, right. oh, I've got to do more. What else is there to do? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I think last time I was having a party, I just drank like a... It was like a liter of like oh, some pina colada or something like that, and I, <laughs> oh, it was bad. The next day it was bad. Oh no! And people will blame that on the drugs. I'm like, no, it's the alcohols. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what fucked me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I can't help myself. That's yeah. my problem. Just uh, anything right. I do, I just... you grow out of it. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am starting to. Like, I'm starting to realize. That just have a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just might take a while. Just I'm, a touch. Yeah. I'm only yeah. just yeah. learning it, but I'm I'm there. Yeah, finally. Yeah. Well. Yeah, like we've we do it like once a year, so like oh, not once a year, but mostly like there's a big plan once a year, like Australia Day. Yep. Like we put a pool out the front. Yeah. Um, shades over, um, music, and just get fucking munted. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Which is good. The pool's good because it's usually hot on Australia Day. And yeah, MDMA. exactly. It's heat yeah. activated. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can really start sweating and you're like, oh, I'm feeling it a bit too much. I might go jump in the pool. Yeah. Fair enough. So that's a heads up. If you start feeling a bit too, oh, yeah. just a cold shower. Cool. Yeah, or just, or just drinking cold, cold water. Beforehand, like go and buy a bright pool. Like, <laughs> yeah, like Kmart. And it's just, your 50th, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hope you have a good time with it. That'll be yeah. That'll be good. I'm yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah. My son's girlfriend's came out when she heard it. She said, Oh yoo-hoo, can I do it too? <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> like, yes. Right. <laughs> You're your own person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's um it's all about moderation, I think. It's like, yes. yeah, just just enjoy yourself, take your time with it, and um, yeah, should be all right. Yeah, cool. 
I think yeah. it's the um the Australian culture is like trying to outdo your mates like oh I'll see who can drink the most and then it yeah. turns into see who can smoke the most and then it's who can shelve the most pills and it just yeah. it yeah. gets intense. <laughs> it's like why would that be a competition? <laughs> well, that's it. That's it. I remember for my fortieth, I tried to uh, to do. It was the idea was uh, forty to stay awake for forty hours and drink. For forty hours oh, for my right. fortieth, oh, oh, I got to thirty-four hours. Wow, yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a good. And then effort. I had to stop. Yeah, I just yeah. Actually, I didn't have to. I just stopped. Basically, stopped. Yeah. Just yeah. bang, hit me like a ton of bricks. Yeah, yeah. I was like you on your wedding. Oh no, not a wedding. The um. Bucks. Bucks night, yeah. You just kept drinking until your body wouldn't accept alcohol. So anymore. yeah, like I couldn't, I couldn't physically drink anymore. Yeah, it wasn't right. the fact like, and I was probably only tipsy. Yeah, well. yeah. So like, I'm a not so much anymore, but I was a pretty big drinker back then. Yeah. So I started at eight o'clock in the morning. Um, was drunk at eight. Got thrown out of a plane at 9.30 because ah. that was what they organised for my bucks. Yep. Skydiving. Sweet. I'm doing that for my 50th. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're oh, going to yeah. love it. Cool. Yeah. Are you going at Swansea? Yeah. 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 That's a good... It's Yeah. It's awesome. They'll... um You'll skydive over the water. Like yeah. the view is just... Yeah. It was my awesome. mate's 50th last year and we uh, did the same for her. So, yeah. 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 So, have you been before? No. This will be the no. first time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, tell them to do 50 flips because it's your 50th birthday. <laughs> yeah, no. No. <laughs> no. At least do one. No, don't. Do a don't. flip. Just yeah, enjoy no. it. No. Yeah. Like you... See, again, excessive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just sounded a little excessive. Yeah. Yeah. Really. My brother bought it me a, a one for my birthday and I was like, yeah, we're doing some flips, man. Just go all yeah. out. <laughs> no. <laughs> so dumb. Uh... I was... Yeah. I was um I was pretty okay. I, like I wasn't wasn't nervous. Like I didn't have like that nervous feeling in my stomach going up. I it did. was like because I told yeah. the guy let's do heaps of yeah, flips. Yeah, nah. I was just like everyone's like <laughs> you flip. <laughs> yeah, I was I was really like um like I just accepted the situation. So I was like, oh well, it's too late to back out now. There's yeah, no point being nervous. That's it. Once you're strapped in, you yeah, can't yeah. go anywhere. I didn't. Yeah. I kept my eye on the horizon once we got up to the door. So yeah. I was the first one out. I was like, eye on the horizon. Don't look down. Yep. I you jump out and all like just the acceleration. It you want to scream, but you can't. Yeah, <laughs> you right. Physically can't scream. Wow. Yeah. Did you and get a video? N- there is video. Of it, but it wasn't my recording. It oh, was um, okay. It was Jay's. He paid because it was like it's expensive. Yes, yeah, yeah, it was. Everything like that is expensive. And back in the old days, they used to record it with like tape recorders. Yeah, and the dude's right. Helmet. Oh god. Yeah, and it used to be like so. Like that was not so bad, but now it's just a GoPro, mm. and they're still charging like an extra yeah. hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's yeah, too much, and it's old mate. With the GoPro on his hand, mm. it's not even a person next no. to you. It used to be someone next yeah, to you as right. well. Yeah, okay. So someone used to jump well, out with better. you, catch yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. You get your money's worth at that point. Yeah, but yeah. nah, like, yeah, it's just like a GoPro. So if you've got a GoPro, take your own. Yeah, fair enough. Nah, my brother did that. They wouldn't let him take it up. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's shit. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, that is. Oh, they're like, they're like, oh, it's safety and all that crap. No. But oh, it's not. It's just so that they can sting you for the video. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Heaps of people have GoPros these days. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they're just like, oh, if it falls off and smacks someone in the head. Like, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> it, yeah, that's not how <laughs> that's not how it works. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, like you'll love it. It's yeah. It was um. Probably like one of the best experiences I've ever had. Yeah, like, sweet. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. It's like, um, yeah, that feeling of, it's almost like flying when yeah. you're falling, but like the, once the, you pull a parachute, it's just awesome. Yeah. Especially right. over Swansea. It's such oh, a lovely area. It, yeah, it is beautiful. Yeah. Grew up out there. So. Ah, yeah. 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 I know how lovely it is. Yeah. I was born in Valentine. Oh, were you? Yeah. Oh, there you go. So, but we moved around heaps, so like um, where all the fires are at them at the moment. Yes, that's where like Ethan and I grew up together. Oh, okay. So, like, one of the towns that was like, yeah, nearly burnt down. 
Yeah, oh, Harrington well. got pretty pretty messed up by that fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's been um, it's been horrific. It's been yeah. horrible. Yeah, Harrington, mm. Crowdy, um, Johns River, like um, like some of the smaller like the yes. smaller towns are like just because it's such a wide fire front. There's mm. just no well, way to no. protect all the properties. No, that's it. Yeah, yeah. It's almost unstoppable at this stage. Yeah, yeah. Mm. just get out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the fire was up to um, Chloe's house. Like, right near it. Yeah. yeah. So the fiery saved her house. Oh, really? Yeah. Shit. So. Oh, good job. Mm. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just unbelievable. You just, you see the devastation. You're just like, well, that's it. Yeah, and we've obviously lost lives as well. Yes. It's just yeah. horrific. So, yeah, like, we can't keep doing it every few years. Oh, like, every couple no. of years. Like, we had them here last year. Yes, yeah, I remember yeah. that actually. Because yeah. you guys here too, you've got one way in, one way out. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So basically, at one point, Tanya and I were like, "Yep, yeah, cool, pack the car, get ready to go." Yeah, like it was just like grab what we need, chuck the dogs. Like we got two dogs and a cat, chuck them in the ute, yeah. and then you just go down to the evacuation centre. Yeah, yeah, that's all you can do. Yeah, yeah. at least you're yeah. close to the water here. Some of those places out there. It's- no just water. surrounded by yeah, yeah, yeah surrounded right. by bush. bush, and then people jump in their car and try and drive off, and it's, the smoke's that thick. Yeah, that, like, they your just car, get trapped. Your yeah. car doesn't even run in that. Yeah, it needs oxygen to burn fuel, and it just conks out. And they're trying yeah. to get out of there. Yeah, like it's it's shit. Like some of that could just be coming down to like they just got super unlucky. The fire front came through so quickly, yeah. but well, exactly at the same time, like you should have a plan. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think everyone does need, you know, even if you don't live right near the bush, I think everyone needs an evacuation plan for fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what am I, like, even just a, like a mental, like, what am I going to grab? Yes. Where is it? Yeah. And, like, where am I going? Yeah. Yeah, we've got a, because we're out at Cameron Park and we've got bush all around us. Yeah. So we've got a bag tucked away with everything. So we'll just grab the bag, Yeah. grab the three dogs and the cat, and yep. bang, yep. out of there. But because, um, oh. yeah, my partner's really worried about that at the moment because I'm heading to Melbourne for three months um, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, okay. And um, for work, uh, yeah. And um, she's like, oh, well, you know, I've got to make sure I've got the fire escape down, but uh, yeah. just in case. But mm. It's, yeah. And, I mean, it's shit too because it's just like we don't have to worry about fires at the moment. Because the fire's already been through. Yes. There's not as much fuel. No, that's right. Like, and... Oh, this place would be on fire, I reckon, if it hadn't been last year. Oh, Definitely if we had been hadn't been yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. It could have been worse. Like, yeah. Way worse. Oh, we yeah, got so right. lucky. We didn't lose any houses. I think one caught fire a little bit and they put it out. Yeah. So it was up to people's back fences out <laughs> that way. Um, but Once that wind starts blowing, like it, it was the other day, well, that's it. it. The wind's crazy. so unpredictable yeah. too. Like, yeah. yeah. And like that was what... Um, so we could see... We obviously smell all the smoke. I walked out the front and I was talking to my neighbour um, and we're like, oh man, these fires. And he's like, yeah, I don't... He'd been here forever. He's like, this is probably one of the worst. Wow. And then I was just watching his like... His uh, like a weather vane on the top of his oh, roof. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it was just like crazy we were standing there watching it the wind was at our backs and then all of a sudden it just did like a full 180 and then like i saw the i could see the flames yeah I'm right like, yeah oh. cool we're gonna pack the car yeah yeah, yeah if like, you can see the flames definitely time to go yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah but even having that like that like you said, you got your bag and you're like, you got your plan. Like your yeah. house could just catch on fire as well. That's exactly right. And then right. if you got that ready to go, yeah. you're sweet. But exactly. people don't even think about that half no. the time. They're like, oh, no, my house right. isn't going to burn down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I've seen it happen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And yes. also like people are reluctant to go to those like shelters because, well, it's yeah. probably a shit time. It's not fun. I nah, don't like, think you'd have a, a jolly old time in no, the shelter. No. No. So like Not you're like have oh a band well, playing or anything? yeah you're like oh I'll get stuck there and then I won't be able to leave the shelter and I'm it might be okay yes. just yeah. staying at home yeah and like um there was some fires that people just act like fucking like idiots too yeah they do yes look answer me this because we were talking about this the other day 
What do you know why they recommend that you fill your bathtub in a fire? Oh. Have you heard that? They recommend yeah, you fill I have. your bathtub. Yeah, do you I know could, why? No. Oh, no, I don't know why. I'm yeah, asking. Like, yeah, <laughs> I the only thing I can think of is if it's like like a second floor, if it's going to like drop down and like try and put out some of the fire. I don't no. know. Oh. I can only imagine. That's actually you a just, good explanation. I like that. Like, I know natural disasters, so like fill sinks and stuff like that, and yeah. it's only so you've got like stored so, water source. Wa- right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we sort of thought that might have been that makes it, sense. but yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you're supposed to also, if you're like, if. If shit hits the fan and yeah. you can't leave your house, that's where you go well, as well. Yeah, that's where I thought you'd immerse yourself in the bath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, and yeah, because it's it's like metal. Yes. So, like, if if something happens, your house collapses, you might be okay in the bathtub. Yep. Stuff like that as well. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, but who has that, a metal bathtub? It's they're all like metal, they're like ceramic, they're, aren't they? No, they're like metal with ceramic or like oh, okay. hardened fiberglass yeah. or something like that. Yeah, right. Because they say the same through hurricanes and stuff, getting your bath. Mm. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which we don't really have to worry about. Like Central Coast can get like mini tornadoes. Do you reckon it's just, yeah. This is going to get dark. Do you reckon it's just one of those like the um aeroplane like tuck your head between your legs so it like breaks your neck oh. like a bath's easy to clean you up if you just all <laughs> you're in the bath they yeah. just drag it out yeah. you're not going to be all over the place they don't have to go looking for teeth <laughs> that's not a bad uh, option actually Look, really, yeah. when you think about it yeah they're going to scoop you up you might as well be already be in a container yeah, yeah. nice <laughs> start making cars out of bathtubs yeah <laughs> Yeah. Well, hopefully, if anyone's listening to this, they make a plan. Even Ex- if you, yeah. yeah, I think that was the uh, that's the point here yeah. we've just made. Make a plan. Yeah, yep. that's it. Do you remember the Williamtown fires a few years yes. ago? Yes, yeah. I do. So I was working out at Williamtown then, and um, like, so I was in the Air Force, and commands like, we could see the fire like yeah. across across the flight line. I'm like, yeah, right. We should probably go. <laughs> and like the guy, our warrant officer is just he was just. A fucking idiot. I was going to say a dickhead, like, yep. No, like <laughs> proper like a fucking idiot. Right. Like e- every project he did, they had to go back and redo it after he oh was done. God, stuff okay. like that. So he's like, this is the safest place you can be. I'm like, the fire's like right there. <laughs> I'm like, that's not, this is not the well, What was his logic bit. behind that? He's like, oh, well, there's all this distance between you and the fire. I'm like, you do understand oh. that people don't normally die from being burnt alive. They die from smoke inhalation. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do if the fucking smoke comes across here and we're all, like, stuck and we can't go anywhere? He's like, oh, oh, oh. And eventually they're like, yeah, you can go. So by the time they let us go, the roads, like, out in the Dowie Road and then into town, like, the highway had just been closed and all this. So people are, like, trying to do a 180 across the dual lane highways. Yeah, yeah. There's, like, a big ditch there. People, like this dude in the there. Commodore is just like going straight down to the ditch. Everyone's hitting oh, it like side no. and angle. He's just like, wah, 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 bang, rips the front end off his car. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. Like, <laughs> of course it was a Commodore driver I was going to say, yeah, you can, you can pretty much trust Commodore yeah. drivers and shit. Yeah. These are both Commodore oh, drivers. Yeah, I'm you? thinking yeah. I'm a Commodore driver. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but, uh, we know what they're like. It's true. It's yeah. true. Yeah. I was just like, the, the fire had, obviously cross the highway at Raymond Terrace there. But as, like, right as I got to the front of the line when they're turning people around, yeah. like, the cops just, like, got on the radio and he just let us through. I was like, yeah. ah, yeah. awesome. Nice. I didn't have to, like, carry on, like, a pork chop. <clears throat> the guy who ripped the front end of his car would have got let through. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Much, much more dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah, but I was just like, you think about it. You imagine being the last person to get turned around. Like, you, yeah. you, the, the last person, you're looking in your rearview mirror and then all of a sudden people are, like, going through the roundabout and you're like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. Oh, oh yeah. that was like um, Adam. We, we kept, were coming back from Sydney and there was track work and they were, like, letting people on the bus. Oh. And then they were like, nope, no more. The bus is full. And Adam's just standing there like, fuck. <laughs> this is like... You, you sure the bus was full? <laughs> yeah, I just took one look at him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not letting this yeah. bike on. <laughs> yeah, he had to catch He's the next trouble. bus. But he, he had a better bus ride than us because ours was fucked. But anyway, it was heaps late at night. 
Well, anyway, you're ex-military, so what do you reckon about the whole, um, they're deploying the military to fight these fires? Because I, I wanted to go with the whole stupid premise of like, what are they going to do? Fucking shoot the fire? <laughs> 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 just be a dickhead? <laughs> They're just going to all get loudspeakers. Yeah, you yeah. Just hurricanes really. too, apparently. Yeah. You just shoot bullets at the hurricane. That's it. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. mobilise the, the army. To Essentially, you just need bodies yeah, to just move. Just people, shit. that's yeah. right. Yeah, like if if they're running low on water, who's going to go get the water? It's like, yeah. Yep, cool, they've got trucks. They've like It's yeah. all like logistics, handling logistics, and they're going to be doing fire breaks as well. So yeah. you'll have like the engineers out in the bush. Yeah, because yeah, the last thing you want to do is take the fireys away from where they need to be. So. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Like, it's sort of, yeah, it's just like, man, whatever. It'd, it'd fucking suck though. I'm so glad I'm not in the air force anymore. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Like, like when it, you get floods and shit, and you got to go sandbag areas and do yeah. stuff like that. Oh, that I've done that fun. too. Yeah. I had to do that in Wagga. Yeah, it's fucking like when there was these huge floods that came through and like wiping out businesses. <laughs> We had to evacuate the brothel. <laughs> this is like a brothel. <laughs> had all this furniture. And they're like, you need to lift all this furniture up. We're like, we're no. not here to fucking save furniture. We're here to like get you out of here. <laughs> but then like the sergeant was like, all right, yeah, fuck. He had to like um, lift up all their chairs and shit like that. Oh, and, wow. Like sand, like, they laid some sandbags at their front door. The waters didn't get that far anyway, but it was just pretty funny. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's lucky, really. I mean, yeah, yeah. You don't want to lose the brothel. No, so, no, it's a pretty important part of every town. I think. Look, I'd been there. Wasn't a great brothel. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <Yeah>. Very good. <laughs> we were there. <laughs> um, like, so, look, you don't have to be the prettiest person in the world to be a prostitute. That's true. Yeah. That so is true. anyone can do it. Like, yeah. and it's good money spitter. It is. Mm. Look, and um, so there's three of us in the room where, like, the the women come in and there was this one, like, uh, she was a bit older, like, um, sort of bigger woman as well as, like, she was Indian. Yep. And she just loved my mate, would not take no for an answer. Yeah, right. She's like, oh, you come with me. <laughs> I like, show you a good time. No, nah, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm gay. <laughs> okay. I still show you a good time. Yeah. She's like, you come with me. <laughs> I'll turn you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think you will. <laughs> yeah, so we went home that night. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, I'm thinking, hang on, did <laughs> yeah, I miss something on. here? Yeah, no, yeah, there's You're three the of guy. Us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's three of us in the room. We jerked each other off. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Laugh. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was, yeah. It's, Board yeah, it's, males, it's always going to come down to that, really. Yeah, it, yeah a little bit, like... Yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> Go to the broth, all the boys. <laughs> it's a weird thing to do. It is. <laughs> to take your mates. Uh, yep. That's something I'd probably do in private by myself, <laughs> like shamefully. The guys, the guys <laughs> I went with, the two of them went another time and had a like a devil's threesome. Like, <laughs> well, I'm not going to judge there. Paid, yeah, but they paid extra money to I'm, do I'm, it. I'm, oh. I'm going to ask though, because I'm, yeah, obviously oh, very, threesome. very naive. What's a devil's threesome? So two men, one girl. Oh, why is it called a devil's threesome? Um, good question. Two horns. Oh, I thought so. Two yeah. horns. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. Yep. Righto. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty lame. Yeah. But okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Thought it was going to be a really exciting story as to why. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Went. Went. Had the threesome. Paid extra for it, just to do it. And I feel like. If you're going to do that sort of thing, it's like you're doing it out of necessity. There's two blokes there. There's one chick. You just both want to get laid. You're just fucking... You're helping out a mate. Yeah, you're helping (laughs) out a mate. You make an agreement not to make eye contact or touch each other. (laughs) (laughs) But um, (laughs) they're just like, no, we're going to go pay for this experience. (laughs) Which I think is a bit weird. Yeah, can't say I would. I think that's just an excuse to... To get a good look at your mate at that point. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. See yeah. what he's packing. Yeah. 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 I think that's it. Yeah. And the things I'd heard about my mate is he was he was packing. He was packing. Lucky fella. <laughs> I, I would hope he's he poor had misses. a real dick. Yeah. yeah. Packing. I mean, I'm thinking, I pack when I go as a drag king, but... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. 
<laughs> not that type of packing. Yeah. Very good. Very I did good. watch that video the other day that Kel put up of uh, the. <laughs> oh, the bloody turkey <laughs> penis! My God, that's ridiculous. <laughs> She no, does it every, it. Year, every year, every single year with the turkey. Because yeah. I'm away over Christmas this year. We're right. doing a Christmas today because we're also meeting. Well, it's my son's birthday as well as we're meeting my daughter's boyfriend for the first time. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let the grilling begin. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that'll be fun. I got a couple. Yeah. Of, I got a couple of hunting knives upstairs. You can borrow if you want. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> but I, uh, yeah, I'm pretty ready with that actually. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, look, that was yeah. a f- fucking funny video. Do you, you always have that sort of back and forth? Yeah, she's always. funny. <laughs> yeah, she is. She should be the one doing stand up series. Yeah, yeah. It's just she doesn't like crowds. <laughs> oh yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. But yeah, yeah, just that that line at the end. You go, I'm gonna stick it up your ass. Oh, you got to get consent first. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that is of fucking course, gold. Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, it was a good line. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's. Um, so, we've got one last segment to do. Oh god, here we yeah. go. Yeah, it's called Fap of the Week. What is it? Fap of the Week. Fap of the Week. Yeah, well, you young don't. Kids. You don't have to. Fucked you don't up have bit? to. Is that yeah. it? No, no, it's... no, no. It's what you uh, jerked off to oh. that week. Right. Yeah. So yeah. we <laughs> <laughs> we discuss what porn we've been watching. And, okay. uh, yeah, and lay it all out there. Yeah. yeah. It's usually like weird stuff that you see on the internet. Yeah. More well, than that's like what, what you're actually watching to seriously get off. But What yeah. we've found on the internet <clears throat> as, uh, as young kids this week. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Let's talk about Tanya. She's gone deep on the oo-woos. The so oo-woos. Basically, there's like, um, there's a sect of the internet that's basically act like cartoon characters uh, like yes. Japanese anime cartoon characters and she's just like balls deep on the joke now like walking <laughs> around like calling me daddy like all sorts of shit <laughs> walked in today I'm sitting on discord and she's just like you're gonna you're gonna punish me daddy <laughs> and I was like yeah everyone heard that Tanya <laughs> she's like Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking weird! Yeah. Oh no, it's just, uh, it's just their own. It's a weird internet subculture that um yeah started with like really nerdy people in Japan. Well, Sailor Moon's pretty hot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It started out as that sort of stuff, like the anime sort of stuff. Yeah, and then it and then it got a bit weirder. It started evolving into like the furry stuff. I don't know if you've heard about that sort of stuff. People no. like to dress up in like animal oh, costumes. Y- yes. Tails and shit. Oh, but it's fucked up. Yeah, it's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> it's just fucked up. It's a fucking oh. good way to get laid though. If you don't care, like... Yeah, tr- true. <laughs> yeah. My God. Yeah. yeah. When Tanya divorces me. Not if. <laughs> when. Uh, oh, come I'm, I'm going to become You've a got furry. a couple of costumes in the cupboard. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Sailor Moon outfit. Oh, oh no! Don't tell me that. <laughs> uh, uh, what about you, Ethan? I've been. I found a a pornographic film that featured the Joker, the new Joker. The oh, new Joker. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. yeah. That was a bit weird. That was a bit controversial. Oh, I yeah. bet. Yeah. yeah, but um, that other one that I found that I shared, it was um. Just a bunch of weird videos, sort of clipped together of like the weirdest porn videos that sort of are out there. And one of them, what was it? It was like lesbian clowns in space, and it was like these two girls riding a <laughs> rocket in space. And then they're like, "Let's just pull over there and have sex." And I was like, "Okay, <laughs> let's see where this is going." So that was pretty that, cool. That's pretty much what lesbians do. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> that's so it. it was the whole the whole clown makeup thing. Everything just sort of tied together into this really weird thing that I yeah I watched that. And um, <laughs> what else was there in that video? There was some there was some strange stuff. What about that video game? That Cameron was playing the other day. Did you see that? That was another weird one. Yeah, yeah where you could create your own sort of sexual character. And, yeah, and you'd so, run around naked. It's a also. video game, open world, amazing graphics. The fucking graphics in video games these days. And it's literally like he's dressed up by like with this big-breasted fox person, and then like <laughs> uh, to get through the portal, he's got to he's got to make the fox lady come. Mm-hmm. 
like the big fox lady and it's like a standing like head giving her like a standing head job like going down on her gets through the portal a second later gets pounced on by another fox man <laughs> Didn't get consent. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Oh, and just starts getting. What did the like, fuck say? Yeah, yeah. yeah, just getting like fucked, and he's like, "Oh god damn it!" And it was like, because he was trying to do something, he's trying to get somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> he just keeps That's... getting like fucked by these fox dudes. That's a fucking weird game. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm gonna man, download I gotta, the server. I gotta <laughs> fucking do this combo and make him come faster. <laughs> Some weird shit on the internet. Oh, well, yeah, I I got nothing on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got absolutely nothing. Fair Super enough. strange. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's it's fat for the week. Have you had light. one? Oh, oh, no. Yep. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably best. You've got like, yeah. <laughs> it's just something, yeah. It's something we have to do every episode. Right. And we keep getting told to change the the segment name to wank of the week it, <laughs> just, it just sounds better apparently down. but eh, i like fap of the week yeah let's stick with it Fair i enough. personally think it should be called fucked up shit of the week <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah there's a bit of that yeah there's a lot of that <laughs> well you've got to stay on on top of your internet topics these days yeah so very cool. It's where, all, cool. where all the kids are at. We're trying yeah. to reach a broader audience. Right. <laughs> so it's all research purposes. Yes, yeah. yes exactly. Yeah. 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 Very good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Loz. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Sweet. All right. That's um, that's the podcast. Yeah. No worries. See you. Bye.